Hello, welcome Cancer. Um, this is your video for the month of February 2015. I shuffled the cards earlier, so let me do the eight card spread for you for this month. I have the Six of Cups upright, the Six of Wands upright, the Chariot in reverse. This is the Five of Swords in reverse, the World upright, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Swords and the devil card um okay so let's pull out another card to assess this situation at the end of the month all right and we have the eight of wands up uh in reversed okay so very interesting your card is showing up here the chariot is representative of ca um, cancers so this is actually a very good energy and um it's showing up in the reverse position so in terms of you know um your ability to direct the, the flow of your life this month is going to be blocked and um, this is usually if your card is, sh is shown up reverse in the reading um, you don't have as much control over the situation that is playing out in the month of February as you would hope but um, I'm not seeing anything bad I I'm seeing a lot of expansion a lot of new energy and a lot of networking in general so this is not um, this is not a month for you um, <clears throat> where you feel like you might need to assert yourself. I, I don't see that coming in. Um, okay, so let's look at the beginning and see, you know, how the energy is going to play out. So we have a tremendously nice and just stable and soothing and emotionally filled beginning of February. This is the Six of Cups, and it is also a soulmate card. Um, many of you might be collaborating with people from your past, or just meeting up people from your past. So um, travel itself is a little restricted just because the chariot card is coming up in the reverse position. But the world card as well, if you have a lot of acquaintances all over the world or, you know, not in your immediate surrounding, physical travel might be restricted, but, you know, uh, communication with them via phone text or, you know, communication in the internet too, through the internet, you're going to be t able to reach out and expand your network, expand your um, environment, and it's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So this is a really wonderful start to February. It's just amazingly wonderful, and I, I feel like a very nice, soothing, and calm energy permeating your life in the first part of February. And on top of that, you are doing impressively well for yourself. And I believe this um, also came up in the weekly reading for Cancers. So this is a victory card. And um, it's getting the accolades, getting the, the positive responses and reception from other people, from your boss, from the clients that you work with, from the people that you interact with. You are very charismatic. You're coming across as being very persuasive, very knowledgeable very intelligent and you're getting a lot of people onto your side you have the power of persuasion and you are appearing very charismatic and capable so this is going to play itself out in um, especially affecting your work environment in terms of getting more clients and getting a lot more finances and being more emotionally and financially secure this month okay but as well in your interpersonal um, relationships People are starting to finally come around to your way of thinking. The people around you are just um they're depending on they're depending on you for your ability to be decisive, to be very creative and to basically um overcome situations that they themselves can't. So you're coming on top and you have this beautiful energy coming in early the early part of February. So this is great great news, all right? Um with I mentioned earlier with the chariot card in reverse, um, what I'm feeling is, you know, tying in with the work situation, um, I feel that there is still a lot of blockages when it comes to getting that payout that you've been promising or that you've been counting on. But like I said, rest assured, it's still coming, okay? And the energy that I'm getting for this uh, month in general is, um, this is a month to basically replenish your emotional and spiritual health so um, financial abundance is not a big factor this month I just don't see it being a huge factor so um, 
don't worry about your finances. This is not a month to focus on that. This is more about, you know, con getting the, the accolades for a job well done and also reconnecting with people from your past and also um, being around people who are emotionally supportive so that, um, so that you are reaffirmed that you're going on the right path, okay? A lot of you, though, um, with the chariot card, your card coming up in the reverse position, too, I just feel that... Um, you're at a crossroads and um, you're at a fork in the road. You don't know how to proceed forward. With it in reverse, I feel that, you know, direction might be lacking. Self-doubt might be creeping in in the middle part of February. So you're not sure how to proceed. So um, that is somewhat troubling. And then additionally, I just feel that um, the work situation itself is going to pick up and it's going to affect your movement a little bit. It's going to affect your leisure time. It's going to affect the direction of your life. So this is a, a month of intense introspection so that you will know how to proceed, okay? So in the past, like especially in January, I feel that a lot of new openings, new jobs, new opportunities have opened up for can uh, cancers. And in this month, um, you're assessing the viability of those options, okay? So it's actually a very good month to, to take a breather just because Mercury is still in retrograde until the 11th and won't be out of its shadow period until the very last um, week of the month, completely out of its shadow period until the last week of February. The last, yes, the last week of the February, the last week of the month. So it is actually a very good time now to reassess, to know where you want to be and how to proceed, okay? Um... Also, with February and retrograde, it's going to bring back a lot of people from your past, in particular exes, or people that have, um, you know, that that you've had you've had a shared history with, and they're going to come in in a new way, in that um, they they would help you network, they would help you, um, they would help expand your thinking, expand your client base. If it's a business transaction, they will come back, but in a different way. So I, I'm I'm not feeling like um romantic or overtures from people who are coming back that have been, you know, in your romantic past, they're going to come back and help you to move forward, to advance your careers, to advance your goals, and to help you this month. So it's a very positive energy in general. Um, so um, with this card coming in here, so, you know, in the... Um, Upright position, it's indicative of a situation where there has been a swift victory. And in the reverse position, though, um, I feel that, so it could play out in two ways. Either that, the swift victory that you're hoping for, you know, I whether it's like landing a new client or having, you know, the last word with, um, with in a relationship, in an argument, just getting your point across and being received really well, in that situation, this is coming in, you know, possibly towards the end of the month, too. Um, it's going to be delayed, and it's going to be delayed in a way that, um, because of the, the doubt that you're feeling, like, you don't know really how to proceed forward at this point, so then this is slowing coming. Another way this could play out is, um, you've had a swift victory in your mind, and you're not gloating over it, which is great, because I know Capricorns are ex extremely modest as well, and, um, you are very sophisticated in the way you handle um, you handle emotional problems and emotional baggage. So um, you don't air out dirty laundry in public. So that is actually a really good thing for you to do, and it's a good habit for you to keep. Okay, so I actually really think I think that's a great idea to do that. So even if you you know had issues with people from your past, I I don't feel it's people from your past. Even though you've had issues um, in general. And you know people have been less than honest, you avoid them in the future, whereas you, you don't really confront them, you know, which can be problematic, but at the same time, you know better, so you don't uh, call them out on it, you just choose to avoid them altogether, the bad people, um, which is actually, in the business world, is a very sophisticated and a very effective um, way to handle... Um, 
to handle like disagreements and to handle unscrupulous people. So congratulations to you. That is a very hard skill to learn. And I, I feel like it just, um, with like any other water sign, it would not work. But with cancers, you you are very, very caring and loving people. So um, the way you're handling it, this is just, you know, it's so magnanimous of you. Because I know a Scorpio would never be able to do that. And a Pisces would, would just, a Pisces, when they're hurting, they want other people to hurt alongside with them. And Scorpios as well, but whereas you, you see the bigger picture, and you're just, um, you're learning from it, and you're not letting them back in your life. Um, so this is a very good way to do it, at the same time not burning bridges, because you might need that contact in a work environment later on down the line. So this is a really very adult, mature, and sophisticated way to handle your opponents, okay? So congrats to you. So, like I mentioned, um, there are going to be a lot of contacts that help expand your network and expand your friendship networks, your romantic life, um, your financial situation to your work environment. So, it, it's a strong, strong month um, to really get the ball rolling, okay? And I feel that um, after, during the last week of um, February, so towards the last week, I, I just feel that um, you're actually going to hit the ground running. There are a lot of adjustments you have to make in your life. And also just um, past situations will creep up, you know, with the devil card. But um, towards the end of February, things will clear up for you. Then you will know the confusion, the fog will be lifted, and you will know how to proceed with your life. So I do see you moving on from, um, most of you have started a, a business or have continued on with a job situation that has, you know, um, th through 2014. So it's, it's still a fairly new energy and it has not paid out the way you want. I do see in February, the end of February, you're going to walk away from this situation. And you're walking from this and possibly returning to a previous work situation that you've abandoned. Um, if you're deciding to do anything like this, then I strongly advise you to do it during the last week. Like, don't even sign contracts. Don't even talk about it until the last, last possible week of February. So um, you might have started this new project possibly um, around the October, November, December of 2014 is not paying out the way you want. So you're deciding to move forward, to, to move on and find something else or return to the previous um, contact. So I feel that... I feel very strongly though, um, I, I feel just very strongly with this Six of Cups energy here and with the Devil here, this is definitely an old contact that you, you've dealt with in the past. For some reason it didn't work out, but they're coming in strongly at the beginning of the month to try to snare you back in. So you know, we do have free will. I mean, if you're leaving this situation and going back to the devil, then I would advise you not to find something else, find something new. And it's the beginning of the year, so you want to um, attract newness. You want to bring new energy into your life so that you're not repeating the patterns and you're not um, trapping yourself and um, you're not and, and affecting the rest of your year, okay? So it's a very expansive time in your life right now. So don't leave uh, a recently new job to go back to a previous old job. I don't see that working out very well in your favor. If you are, if it's not a business situation and you're, you know, leaving a new relationship and returning to an old relationship, I strongly advise against that. Just don't even think about that at all because um, the devil energy is not something you want to go back to. And I, I feel very strongly that you will just because it, it promises, you know, it, it promises so much. It, it's it's the, um, the devil that you know kind of mentality. And, you know, just, just if that is the case with a work situation or a romantic uh, partner, in which, you know, they're cycling back into your life in this time, just know that it hasn't worked out in the past, okay? It has not worked out. Don't go back to it. Sail on to something better, you know? If you don't have anything better in line, stick with this because it's still 
pretty early it, it's a new energy it's just you know coming in reverse so it hasn't played out the way you want that doesn't mean that it, it just means the time is not right there will come a time where it just you know turns itself and you will get that financial abundance or that material abundance that you need okay from this situation so it's relatively new energy so don't abandon it just yet and especially do not abandon it to go to something previous because it has not worked out and it's not going to work out and this energy is coming in so prominently like old energy you know same patterns of behavior same types of uh, unhealthy habits and you know just that sheer history from your past just don't, please don't go back to it. I would strongly, strongly advise you not to. And February is such a wonderful time of expansion for you that you have so many options, so many possibilities that are out there. So don't look back, okay? Just move forward with your life. Take control. Take control, manifest things, and go out and seek new experiences and new life. Um, new life paths for yourself, forge a new path for yourself rather than going back to situations that have never panned out in the past when you have like the whole world at your disposal alright and it's very problematic here is um, the eight of wands which deals with communication too um, it's in the reverse position so there are going to be communication mishaps, especially, well, all through the month, but, um, you know, there, it's a Mercury in retrograde cycle and communications get, um, things get misconstrued and people get upset and, you know, you, you say things you don't mean or you misinterpret what the other people's intentions are. So it's that kind of situation where your thinking processes are clouded and you don't really have full assessment, full and accurate assessment of the whole situation. So it is best to wait until the end of the month when the communication mishaps have cleared themselves up. You can think correctly. But in general, I, I just see like, um, I just see this really, I, I see this cycle playing out, you know, like um, things from the past happening and then all of this is cycling out, all of all of this. So it, it's just a, a vicious cycle, but you know, get yourself to this point where you feel whole again, okay? And um, it's going to take you, you know, um, turning your back on the past, turning your back from the people from your past, moving yourself ahead, getting rid of that self-doubt and just... Um, network and you have to be really proactive about putting yourself out there I, I feel that um with a lot of cancers it's been hard just because in general you guys are you like the comfort and you know the stability and the pre predictability of your home environment you don't really venture too far out but you know the world is here for your taking so take initiative be a little more proactive towards um steering your life in the right direction take control okay don't let others steer the boat for you because they tend to bring you back to places that you do not want to uh, be so take control rather than let energies and situations and other people steer your life all right and I, I see that coming very prominently because you have so much potential. You just have so much abundance. So don't waste this month going back to old things or, you know, reverting back to old behaviors and letting your self-esteem and self-doubt get the best of you where you feel that uh, you're not entitled to more. You have everything here to manifest um, the right things, the right situations and people into your life, okay? And on top of that, you have the mechanism and the intelligence and the resources within you to do that. So turn this card upright and take control of your life this month. And especially don't let others steer you the wrong way. And don't go back to old patterns of behaviors and people that have not served you in the past, alright? So I hope that you will take my advice on this. It's a very pivotal month for you to move forward with all aspects of your life. So, you know, take control. Take the reins. And don't, don't wallow in what you should have, could have done. Just take the rain and go forward, okay? So um, I hope you have a happy February and um, have a great Valentine's Day. 
And also, um, please like, subscribe, and share, and leave comments as well so I know how this, you know, plays out in your life. I really appreciate comments, all right? Thank you so much for viewing this, and um, I will see you next week with your weekly videos and also next month with the March 2015 video. Have a great February. Thanks.